welcome back and happy snow day. It is coming down in Jersey City. I woke up this morning and I went to go like peek out the window and there was just snow everywhere. Um, for those of you that don't know, I live in Jersey City with my boyfriend Ryan in our little apartment. I've lived in New York City for like six years. And before that I lived in Miami. I grew up in Miami with my family. They all still live down there. So as like a Florida girl, snow to this day, even though I've lived here for <laughs> seven years, I still feel like a kid on Christmas when I see that it's snowing. So I decided that we're gonna go on a little snow day walk. I'm not sure what this vlog will consist of, what it will be. I just got excited, grabbed the camera, wanted to take you guys on a little stroll with me in case there's some of you out there that also just love snow. I think we'll do like a walk, maybe a little cozy like day at home, day in my life with me. I'm wearing my like Lululemon bra bright blue puffer. It's got makeup all over it, but I got this for Black Friday on like mega sale and it was one of the best purchases I've made. I love that you can like button it all the way up. I always feel really warm in it. The water isn't like a huge thing. It's not water resistant, but it's water repellent. So I don't, I'm, I don't get like soaked when it's snowing or raining outside, especially in the winter. I love to surround myself with bright colors because I feel like it can be so monotone outside. So I love this bright blue puffer. I always like doing like an orangey red bright nail. I've got my little Madewell beanie on that Ryan got for me. And I'm about to put on my <laughs> children's Timberlands. They are are so dirty. I have had these for years. I'm trying to see what size they are. Okay, so they are a five and a half in children's and I'm typically a seven in women's. They're so much less expensive. So that's what I ended up getting and they've lasted me for years. I do wish I had a little bit more traction on the bottom of the shoe, um, like when, I, when it's like really snowy out, but for the most part, my feet stay warm and I love them. Anyways, it is 822 in the morning. So we're gonna go on a snowy day stroll before it gets all slushy and gross. So we're just gonna see it all nice and beautiful. Let's go. Another snow day essential for me is just good music, especially for a nice little stroll. This is my playlist. You had me at hello. It's my rom-com playlist on Spotify. So I'm just gonna play this and enjoy the beautiful scenery. our attempt at Olaf with very few supplies. <laughs> All right, we're cold and hungry, so we're heading to a nice little bakery. I don't know which one, Ryan's surprising us. Okay, so this is our spread. I got an iced vanilla matcha with strawberry, but you can see down at the bottom, it's really good. Ryan got a hot chocolate. We got a, a turkey cheddar croissant and a leek and Parmesan like pastry. And then we also got these little guys that are full of Nutella. We came to another park and it is so beautiful here. All of the trees have so much snow on them. Zebo is giving Stars Hollow energy. Ryan's just just hanging in the trees. <laughs> this is where I live now. Okay, we're back at home, comfy clothes is on, the sun is already coming out and I can already see the snow starting to melt and slush. So I'm really glad that we went early in the morning. I'm someone that loves like an early morning activity, an early morning walk, like doing something fun in the mornings and then coming back home for the afternoon to just like rest. Like that's, I'd say our weekend routine here. I had my little like rom-com playlist on in my headphones and Ryan had like Harry Potter soundtrack on and we were both just walking around like, do, do, do. It felt so sweet, so romantic, so nice. Um, someone, a follower actually reached out to me and was like really sweet. They were saying how they're surrounded by, you know, a lot of negative people in New York. There's a lot of negativity just in the world in general. So that it's like refreshing to see a romantic point of view on things. I'd say that I'm definitely a romantic. I definitely romanticize things, especially the little things. And don't get me wrong, I definitely have you know, a lot of negativity in this little head of mine, a lot of negativity towards myself. I just, you know, we're our biggest critics. Um, but I think that I find so much comfort and so much joy in just 
having fun with the little things and having fun with Ryan, Ryan and I call them our little adventures. We just love to like get up and plan a little adventure to do something simple like a walk through the snow, but that makes us so happy. So that was just a really happy morning for me. I feel like it's it's definitely one, one for the books, one for the memories. So the rest of this day is gonna be pretty chill. Like I said, um, I think we'll just have like a chill vlog day at home with me. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do right now is just kind of hang out. I typically love to edit. I'm one of those people that when I film something, like when I film a video, I immediately want to edit it. I love editing. I love taking footage and turning it into something and seeing the potential for it. It just makes me so happy. So I have like zero patience with that. So I'll probably honestly start editing this video um, after this. I like to hang out on the couch. I have like my little spot with my blanket. I turn my little candle on and Ryan typically hangs out in our bedroom on the computer. And we just like do our own thing while we're both at home. And sometimes those are my favorite moments together when we're both doing our own thing, but still together, if that makes sense. And then tonight we're so excited because we're going to this little like pop-up event that's a Harry Potter themed speakeasy. Um, that's all I know. We have no other details. We don't know what it looks like. We don't know basically anything about it, um, but I'm planning to bring you guys along and just like show you some b-roll of it. It's supposed to be like Harry Potter themed drinks and we're excited. It'll be a nice little activity. I'm also heading on vacation in like less than a month, like two and a half weeks now um, to Florida. I'm going to Disney with my best friend Emily and then we're also going to visit my family in Miami. Miami, so it's gonna be a big trip. I have a lot to plan. I want to kind of you know, plan out in my notes app, all the outfits that I'm gonna bring, different things that I need to make sure to order in advance, all of that. Um, I'm planning to do like a plan with me video. I'm planning to do a plan and prep and then also a pack and prep <laughs> for the trip. So in the plan one, I'll kind of take you guys through our plans for the whole trip and kind of how I plan out. Um, my vacations, which is something that I love to do. <laughs> and then I'll also have like a packing vlog and where I'm also planning on vlogging the whole trip. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just really excited for the content that I have upcoming. So if you're not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss those. But I'm gonna go get to editing, just have like a cozy little afternoon and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm back and I have Chinese takeout. I am so excited. I'm gonna unbox it <laughs> for you guys. Um, that's how excited I am to show you everything that we ordered. So Ryan and I rarely um, do takeout. We rarely honestly eat out. We usually do like once a week or a couple times during the weekend. Like this morning, we got some treats at the cafe and then got this takeout. And that's probably all that we'll do for the weekend. Um, it was a big goal of ours when we moved in together to really prioritize cooking at home and making meals at home together. Obviously, I feel like it's just better for you, but also we have so much fun cooking at home together. We save so much money. I made a video on like our favorite winter recipes that I can link here in case you guys want some cozy recipes to make at home. Um, but I also feel like that makes it even like, a, an even better feeling when you order takeout when you don't order it for a long time. So I'm so excited for this. Starting off strong, we've got some <laughs> white rice. Wow, this is hefty. So this is the noodles and I got beef. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Please don't drop it. How incredible does that look? Okay, and then the main event is the sesame chicken. This is my go-to order. For Chinese takeout, I just feel like it's my all time favorite. Look at that chicken. I'm weird and I love like cold sesame chicken the next day when it's like sat in the fridge and it's all saucy. Comment down below if you're also weird like that. Ryan doesn't agree with my cold chicken, but I love it. Um, and yeah, so we got these two things. Ryan and I will share these and they'll honestly probably last us like two meals. Um, so I'm gonna dig into this. I'm gonna pull up, I have like my iPad here. When I have a meal that's a lot going on, I like to just like sit at the counter and then I'll like prop my iPad up and just like watch some YouTube videos and just kind of relax. I'm so excited. Actually, let me show you guys my new um, like little iPad stand. If you watched my um, impulse shopping <laughs> one, you know that I make a window shopping list. So this was something that was on my list for like a couple of months and I'm so excited that I ended up getting it. You just kind of lock magnetically your iPad into it and it just kind of stays 
perfectly still and you can like move it side to side which is really cool and you can also um like flip the direction that it's in. Ryan and I use the use this a lot for cooking. Like I'll put the recipes or even like the TikTok up on here and it's really easy to use. And then when I'm watching my YouTube, like sitting at the um, counter, I also use it. And then I can just like click in and watch the video. It's so awesome. Okay, hey everyone, we are back. It is officially nighttime um, and we're gonna head over to the Harry Potter pop-up bar. So this is basically just at our local bar. I saw it on their Instagram. They were like, you just have to say long bottom to a staff member when you get there. And then apparently they take you to this like Harry Potter themed speakeasy where you can have like Harry Potter themed drinks and stuff. I'm not a huge um, Harry Potter person, I would say. I can appreciate it, but I never, like I never Never read all of the books I never wa like, watched all the movies um so I'm not a huge Harry Potter girl but Ryan's definitely a big Harry Potter girl um Woo! so <laughs> I think that he's really excited to go to this and I just like going to things like this because I know that it makes him happy and he's excited and all that um I spent pretty much the entire afternoon just relaxing which was wonderful because I feel like it's actually pretty difficult for me to sit down and relax I have a hard time just doing nothing um but I started Love Island All Stars my friend Zena was like, you have to watch it. We love Love Island. I will say that recently I haven't been as hooked on Love Island. I feel like it's just, it's a commitment. There are so many episodes you have to be committed to like sitting down and watching. Um, but I started the All Stars one and I did like at the end of the first season, like I was like, oh my goodness. So it's pretty good. I think that I'll keep watching it. But yeah, it was a very just chill afternoon. I'm really grateful that we just had the time to kind of relax. And now now we're gonna go do a fun activity. So we'll check in soon. Hello from my bathroom. <laughs> Clearly we are home and not at the Harry Potter themed bar anymore. Um, I just took a shower. I'm getting into my like night nighttime routine and figured I would just kind of like wind down while I told you guys about the bar and all that stuff. Um, I already did my hair stuff. So I use a frizz free foam and then I live by the JVN. Clearly it's <laughs> on its last legs. The JVN complete air dry cream. I love this stuff. I have very like thin, um, or like fine wavy hair and I feel like it's not too heavy but it picks up my like wave pattern really well which I love um, and then now I'm just kind of doing my like daily routine I have you guys literally in the medicine cabinet because there's no other space in this tiny bathroom um, when I'm breaking out I tend to use this like tower 28 daily rescue facial spray I don't know if it actually works or if it's just like placebo um but I feel like it makes me feel better when I'm having a breakout I just like spray this on it's supposed to kind of be like a toner situation um and help with like redness and all of that anyways so while I let that dry I'll tell you guys about the Harry Potter bar experience so I feel like it was really cute it was really fun when you walked into the bar and this was at um Hudson Hound in Jersey City it's like a little local bar in the area um and so when you go to the bar, you just t tell them like long bottom or we're here for the Harry Potter experience. And they, it was really cool from the back of the bar, they just opened this giant door and then it led you to like platform nine and three quarters, which was really cute. And you walked down. I will say that I wanted a little bit more from the experience. It was essentially just like printer paper, like wanted like taped up on the walls and then they had some like hanging candles and stuff um so I think I, I would have loved if they would have been playing Harry Potter music or just a little bit more it, it was missing more of the theme for me but the bar itself was really cool I'm not a big drinker so I just got um a coca-cola which was a 10 out of 10 very crisp but Ryan got like the butter beer and then he also got um like another type of drink that he thought was delicious. It was like a whiskey ginger type drink. I've been also, side note, loving this Dr. Jart um, Skin Barrier Moisturizing Cream. It's very thick, but for the winter, I feel like it's great. I have pretty dry skin. Um, so yeah, I would say that it was a pretty like cute experience. I loved the little entrance and the floating candles. Ryan really loved it. Um, 
I think that, not to shoot my own horn, but I think that I did a better job for <laughs> making the experience for Ryan's 30th birthday. Um, I'll see if I can insert like a little clip here, but I basically did like an at home, I built like a little fort and I did like a whole Harry Potter experience at home. I did little floating candles and I got him candy from the Harry Potter store and we like watched, I actually ordered on Etsy like a little letter, like his Hogwarts letter. Um, and we watched the movie together, like one of his favorite movies together. Um, and it was just so much fun. But anyways, <laughs> this isn't about me. This is about the bar. And I feel like it was um, just a really like cute little experience. We didn't stay as long as I think we would have hoped to because like I said, my stomach just kind of started hurting and I wasn't feeling great. Um, but I came home, I chugged some water. I feel like I'm typically so good at staying hydrated and just like drinking a lot of water. But there's something about the winter, like the just... I don't know. I hate drinking water in the winter. In the summer, I'm great. Like, it's hot out. I'm like, I need to stay hydrated and I'm chugging ice cold water. But in the winter, there's something about just like drinking room temperature water that I'm like, I hate this. Um, so yeah, I haven't been drinking as much water as I probably should. So I chugged some water when I got home, which I feel like eight times out of 10, chugging water just helps me feel better, <laughs> solves all problems. So I did that. And then I also took a shower. I took an everything shower, washed my hair, did my face like scrub, a hair mask, shaved my legs, all of that. And so now I feel refreshed. I feel like especially after a snow day and like running outside, I, I had snow like all over my hair. Um, I just feel refreshed and a lot better. Ryan and I are gonna go lay down in bed now. We like to do question cards. We have this little app called Lovewick and we it basically gives you 10 cards um, per day. And they're just like fun little questions. Um, and I feel like they're just great conversation starters. We always have great chats like at night before bed and it's just become a nice like nighttime routine for us. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and and head to bed. But thank you guys so much for coming along on this like little day in my life, this fun little snow day. I'm glad I picked up the camera and brought you guys along with me. I hope you had fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.